Hey, what's going on guys? Jake here from Middle American Outdoors. This has been a long time waiting video. Um, just kind of recap. To start off, this uh, hunt took place on uh, November 1st, um, right after Halloween. It's always the best time of the year for me here in Kansas. But I happened to have, I got into the stand, oh, super early. I had to, it was my first time hunting in the morning um, with a camera set up. So I got in a familiar tree that I had been hunting um, previously where I've seen some decent deer action and where I shot my buck last year um, out of that same stand. But the way it all started, I had a southwest wind, um, of course blowing to the northeast, ideal for this setup, um, as I knew they were either could be coming from the west or the south, um, and then heading back into the bedding. Right at daylight, about 250 yards um, to my northwest, across a wide open wheat field, I had two bucks pop out. Um, I didn't have binoculars this morning. I just had a Vortex monocular. Um, and I could tell that the, the back one was a shooter for sure. And something wasn't quite right with the front one. Um, until he got into range, I decided after he got inside range that this buck was super unique. Never seen him before. Um, and I was going to take a shot at him um, if he gave me a good shot. And to have it on camera. So with him coming in exactly the same as my buck did last year, exactly the same. Um, he decided to take a different trail as soon as he got to the grass. Um, he was facing me directly at 20 yards. And then he cut. Instead of taking the 25 yard broadside trail, he took the 7 yard trail. It took him right up close to my stand. And with everything going on, I'm trying to move cameras and I tried to wrap the camera around the tree. I didn't have it quite <laughs> in the right way because um, I don't have that third arm on my fourth arrow, but I swung it around as far as I could. That buck came into seven yards and it wasn't super windy, so it was pretty calm. I got full drawn on him. He never knew I was there. At seven yards, um, I let it go. Um, I had tried to stop him, which was not smart, being that quiet. Um, and just with everything going on, he kind of spooked as I shot. And I shot almost after he turned already, just barely seconds if you slow it down. I think I kind of, he kind of flinched, so I flinched at the same time, and my finger was, ar I was already squeezing on the trigger, and it just, it went off right in front of its chest. That deer bounded away to um, 33 yards behind some trees, straight downwind of my Winsent uh, vaporizer, and he s calmed down right there. I had the seduction scent going. Um, it being early rut, this it tended it worked really well. Um, he came back in to 37 yards, which I am perfectly comfortable shooting at. Um, I stopped him quartering to me, and it was my only shot window. And he stood there for oh a couple seconds. And I botched the shot. There's nothing I can say about it. I uh, 
torque my wrist pretty hard um, just to see if I could see the arrow of course it's a common mistake all bow hunters do but I hit them high shoulder um, high center of the shoulder and the arrow kind of angled he was quartering to me so it angled down and back a little and it had good penetration I just wasn't sure how good I had a luminoc on I could see it was stuck in there really good when he was running it was just turning in there um, I thought maybe if I got lucky and left him it'd be a fatal shot and that's why we're making this video now um, well turns out I gave him a couple hours and there was plenty of action going around on there uh, not by deer but by other hunters filling their feeders and some cow farmers checking cows the direction he ran is that direction um, the blood was super good I don't have any footage of the blood just I was simply I don't know I didn't really know what to think I just really wanted to find this deer so I devoted myself to find to try to find it. I went back and reviewed the, reviewed the footage at home while I waited, which is 30 miles away. Um, the shot, I couldn't really see. There were some leaves for my Tacticam, as you can see in the video, that uh, you can just hear the thwack of it. Um, it hits solid. I'm shooting um, just 100 grain Spitfires thinking about switching the heavier arrow setup next year just ran out of time this year to get it adjusted and everything but I had good penetration on it the blood getting back to the blood the blood looked to have nasal spray even coming out um, onto the corn stalks it ran my last blood that I last seen was 400 yards by the time he looped around 400 yards it started getting cloddy um, and I lost blood I uh, called in a few buddies. We went out that day with my fiance um, as well. I don't have any footage of that either. Um, in hopes to find this deer or push it, get it up and going, maybe that arrow would start turning in it. Well, no luck there. A uh, buddy of mine, um, after he got out of the tree stand, he followed me out there and we went and walked the creek at, uh, in the dark looking for that Luminoc. As I have heard stories and I've seen stories of people finding their deer by finding the Luminoc. If you hit them in the shoulder, you know, it doesn't necessarily come out unless it breaks off. But no luck there um, either. And it just really got to me. I took the next day off of work, uh, went out there again just to see if I could find any sort of blood, any direction where this deer went. I had a feeling he kind of got scared off by the farmers working around. You know, he could have went anywhere. Um, I had a buddy with a, a blood dog, um, more of a deer shed dog, but I was grateful enough to, you know, get him and that dog out there and, uh, no luck again. I really do appreciate him, um, for putting in the time and everything, come out there and give it a try. I was exhausting all, everything I could for this buck, um as everybody hates putting a bad shot on a deer it's uh it hurts you know it hurts really bad i had that opportunity um and i didn't capitalize on it that's just that um there's nothing you can change about it nothing you can do i wish i was tagged out so i didn't have to you know be away from the family any longer or anything like that i had my opportunity the way i wanted it and i blew it um lessons learned for sure on that first shot for everyone um, inside that close he was walking super slow in this bit you can see in the footage i'm not going to stop him i mean i'm not going to stop him next i shouldn't have tried to stop him he got skittish he knew something wasn't right those big those older bucks he just knew something wasn't right and uh that would have been the first the first mess up and of course when i let that deer run to 37 yards quartering two the quartering two shot wasn't super severe as you can see in the footage i probably would have taken this shot any other time as well um i just i botched the shot there's there's nothing you can say about it there um i do not have any uh, trail cam pictures of this buck 
I didn't have it before, any of them before. Um, I still don't up until um, today, which is December 5th. I still don't have any trail camera pictures of them to show everybody. But on, uh, let me think, when was it? The 29th of November, I was back in a similar set, um, 75 yards to the west of where I shot this deer. In between hunts, in between the November 1st and the November 29th, I sat quite a few times. All the bucks did the same exact thing. They came out and they fed right at dark, right by this new setup that I had. So I got in there, climbed in the stand, uh, noticed that somebody else had been hunting there. There's a ground blind right behind the set. And uh, right at, let me say, right at like 520, this buck, um, nice size buck was coming, I could see. And he jumps the, jumps the fence onto the property I can hunt 60 yards to the east of my new set. So what does that tell you guys? I, that tells you he jumped across right at my tree stand where I shot him before. Um, he was leading nine does, didn't have any interest in the does. Uh, and that big buck was behind. So nine, nine does, a bigger buck, I'd say 160s, 170s class really nice buck um i'd shoot him any day that one but uh this non-typical um antlered uh, deer that i had shot on november 1st walks in to 65 yards wasn't going to shoot him at that far just i i didn't run my cannon i didn't run my go uh cannon that day because i had to pack in a tree stand as i had told matt i wasn't going to carry it um i was just amazed seeing this deer still alive and walking perfect didn't seem nothing was wrong with him um entry wound was high as i could tell i could see brown spot um he had a slight limp on that front right shoulder where i hit right in and the exit wound is what surprised me um center of the opposite side shoulder so for me to not catch any lungs or anything like that is just amazing to me. I just can't believe that I didn't catch anything. Um, this deer was healthy. He was, you know, nothing was wrong with him. I was super grateful to be able to see him alive as I was trying to hunt and find this deer. Um, I'm just super grateful that he's still alive and I hope he makes it through uh, the winter. Um, if I don't get another crack at him before the end of the year, time's running down. It's for middle of the rifle season here now. I've um, got a bunch of guys out there hunting from with the rifle. Um, so who knows? Hopefully he makes it. I still got cameras rolling out there, but like I said, he's been elusive so far, and I haven't been able to get trail camera pictures of him. Um, but I just wanted to. Uh, finally make this video it's been hard um, but after seeing him it's a lot easier for me but uh, Middle American Outdoors we are producing raw footage of what things actually or how things actually happen out there um, as much as it's embarrassing and uh, kills me to show everyone this <laughs> misfortune mishap um, I'll definitely put in the work to be better and do better um, for this upcoming next season if I don't get another crack this year at one. I got a uh, couple weeks left. Next weekend is the Middle American Outdoors Western Nebraska um, rifle. Matt drew a tag out there uh, for a specific, uh, specific unit. So we'll be going out there to try that. Um, hopefully we get on one early and so we can have some fun. But uh, we just wanted to put this video up for everybody. Um, hopefully it's a learning experience for not only myself, but for everybody else that's learning everything, the whole works around it, um, from beginners to experienced hunters. If you got any comments, uh, comment on the video, tell me what I did wrong. <laughs> I'm sure people will. Um, but that's 
that's all right. We like comments. We like to f give people feedback. We like to respond. So um, drop a uh, comment down there and I'll try to get back to everyone and uh, like and share our videos. That helps us out um, just to get us you know, more out there and get the content views up and everything. I, uh, I really do appreciate everybody. <laughs> And I thank thanks everybody for the support that knows what happened so far. Um, thanks to my brother and Ben and uh, a couple of my buddies that did help me uh, try to find this deer. Yeah, I hope to get more footage of him for you guys. He was a super unique deer with three bases on his left side. Um, I would have mounted him for sure. Uh, definitely not. I'm not a trophy hunter. As I said, the back one was a lot bigger. He was 160s or so. That front one is just he really made me start to shake but anyways thanks guys for watching and uh stay tuned for new episodes of ours um matt's producing content like a madman so give him the support you know watch all his stuff watch ben as he continues to be the great man that he is taking everybody out hunting and giving all the veterans the opportunities that he does um that's something great you know that's very very awesome deal give veterans creed outdoors uh a follow and look to see what they're doing that's what ben's a part of there and he's a part of us as well we appreciate everything he does for us so um if you give that page a follow follow ours subscribe like everything and um keep an eye out for our new upcoming videos uh, it's going to get interesting i hope um so thanks guys. Mm -hmm.